The non-invasive ultrasonic transit time measurement principle works by measuring the time it takes for an ultrasonic signal emitted by one transducer to travel through the fluid and be received by another transducer. The volume flow is calculated using the pipe cross-sectional area, the flow profile factor, the transducer constant, and the measured transit times. The factory calibration includes the calibration of the transducers to determine the transducer constant K-alpha, as well as the transmitter to verify the measured transit times. One way to calibrate the transducer constant K-alpha is by means of the conventional wet flow calibration. On a wet flow calibration facility, the device under test, DUT, is calibrated by reading the flow indication of the reference meter and the indication of the device under test. The error in the volume flow is the difference between the reading of the device under test and the reference meter. By applying the equation for volume flow calculation of the ultrasonic flow meter, the following formula can be derived. The relative error in flow is the calibration result of the transducer constant K-alpha. However, the uncertainty of the transducer calibration is mainly affected by the existing uncertainties of the flow profile factor. Thus, the best way to achieve a higher accuracy is to do a direct transducer calibration. A more direct way of calibrating the transducers arises from the transit time measurement principle itself. Let's take a closer look at how non-intrusive ultrasonic flow meters work. The ultrasonic signal travels through the fluid, enters the transducer wedge, and contacts the piezo element. It is important to understand that the time the ultrasonic signal spends traveling through the fluid always stays the same, independent of the fluid velocity, but dependent on the flow velocity of the fluid, it experiences a spatial shift, delta x. Due to the angle alpha of the transducer wedge, this shift causes a decrease of the ultrasonic signal's path length inside the transducer wedge by delta L. This also means a decrease by delta T in the transit time according to the sound speed C alpha of the transducer wedge. The spatial shift caused by the flow is transformed by the transducer into a time shift. This effect allows for a direct calibration of the transducers. During the direct transducer calibration patented by Flexum and named Aperture Calibration, the spatial signal shift, instead of being induced by flow, is caused by moving the transducer itself by delta x. This shift causes a decrease in the ultrasonic signal's path length by delta l, and accordingly a decrease in total transit time by delta t. As the transducer constant is the ratio of the local shift to the change in transit time, the aperture calibration allows for the most direct and thus the most precise calibration possible. In comparison to the conventional wet flow calibration method, the aperture calibration is a significant five times more accurate due to the fact that the uncertainty of the flow profile is removed from the calibration process. By applying the patented PTB and NIST traceable and ISO 17025 certified aperture calibration method, Flexim once again sets the standard in terms of out-of-the-box measurement accuracy of non-intrusive flow measurement instrumentation.